we're on to power and efficiency in chapter 14. We're going to be doing the fundamental chapter problem 14.8. And we'll do this. These are pretty quick, I would say, um, and they follow the same general principles that we've been doing already. So let's get started. So uh, here is they give us a force uh, as a function of uh, space or position where S is in meters and the contact surface between the block and the ground is smooth. Okay, no friction. That's good. Determine the power of for uh, determine the power of force F when S equals five meters. When it, when S equals zero, the twenty kilogram block is moving at uh, one meter per second. Okay, so um, you know there's I'm gonna kind of cut cut here and just say okay there's no chain no, no chain in height so there's no gravitational uh, work being done on this there's no springs uh, it's all there's no friction it's all just coming from this one con uh, conservative force F so I know that you know if we go through if we uh, go to the work energy principle we're gonna have uh, this equation, right? And I know my left hand side is going to be one half m v one squared because I, at s equals zero, uh, it's still moving, so it has some kinetic energy. Over here we have uh, the the force ten s times the the distance, but we know it's a function of distance, so it's going to be I have to write it down like this, from 0 to 5, okay, equals 1 half mv2 squared. Okay, and, and I'm looking for the final velocity because they want the power when s equals 5. So we know the power output is going to be your force times your velocity, okay. And it's kind of like the work, it's F, V, cosine, theta, okay? But we know that these two things, the velocity is going in this direction, the force is going in the same direction, so cos theta is zero. So it's just going to be F, V, okay? At S equals five meters, all right? So let's just plug the numbers in, let's see. So we have one half, the mass of this is 20, times 1 squared plus, uh, let's do the, the, let's integrate this real quick, it's going to be 10 s squared divided by 2 evaluated from 0 to 5 equals 1 half 20 v2 squared, alright, what does that give us, this is just uh, 1 times 10, so it's 10 plus 5 times 25, when we evaluate it, it's 125. And over here we have 10 v2 squared. Alright, so when we isolate v2, right, we're going to get 135 divided by 10, so 13.5. Alright. And you end up with a velocity of 3.67 meters per second. Notice how, if you haven't looked at the book, go go to the book and see that see how they approach it. Okay, that's why the when you, you when you solve certain problems using energy or, or the principles of energy, uh, it might be uh, it's pretty effective, right? Instead of using the kinematic equations that we're used to. So there's two two methodologies there, uh, and typically, what you know, your TA might tell you or your professor might tell you is that uh, a lot of students will begin talking about or, or asking like, when do when do we know when to use energy and when do we know to use the kinematic equations? Uh, one rule of thumb or one typical response to that is, if you're given time, if it's time. Uh, uh, if your problem gives you like t equals one second, you know, find it in ten seconds. 
most of the time you'll be doing kinem uh, the kinematic equations. If you're not given time or anything, you might be able to just solve it with um, with the energy energy uh, methods. Okay, so I get my velocity at so this is my velocity at s equals five seconds. Sorry, it's, ah, I keep saying seconds. At s equals five meters. Okay, so now. What's the power that that force delivers at s equals 5 seconds? Well, it's going to be uh, 10 s times my velocity at s equals 5 seconds. 5 meters, sorry. Uh, so it's pretty much, you know, evaluate this at s equals 5, right? And you should end up with like 183 point seven watts all right and that's it that's pretty pretty straightforward uh, it's just power t power is just force times your velocity there's many ways to approach it and um, yeah just uh, you know in, in the, just keep using the energy principles try, try to avoid kinematic equations for now until we actually uh, need to use them but yeah uh, thanks for your time and attention guys. Appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if needed. If, if. Thanks guys.